three. Father Joe, just want to provide you a quick update on COVID and masses at St. Tim's. As you know, uh, Governor Walls recently relaxed restrictions on houses of worship. Uh, just wanted to let you know uh, what we're doing at St. Tim's to uh, respond uh, to those new uh, directives from the state of Minnesota. So uh, we're beginning to increase the capacity levels for our Saturday and Sunday masses. We're also looking to add the second mass back into the Sunday schedule as we had in the past pre-COVID. That will begin on Easter Sunday, so we'll have two Easter Sunday morning masses as well as the Saturday evening vigil mass for our Easter services this year. Uh, in addition to that, we are offering the parking lot uh, opportunities for those who do not feel comfortable coming into the building. So between now and Easter, uh, communion will be distributed in the parking lot after the 1030 Mass. On Easter Sunday morning, we'll be transmitting Mass to the parking lot. If you'd like to come and sit in your car, you can participate in the Mass through an FM radio station. Uh, please check the website for details on that as well. Uh, our streaming will continue, so we will continue to offer uh, streaming masses, uh, and we're also involved right now in installing live streaming equipment, so we hope to be able to actually live stream the mass in real time Saturday night or Sunday morning rather than recording it and streaming it later. So that will continue uh, for the time being as well, again, for uh, the folks who do not yet feel comfortable coming back into the building. We're also gauging very carefully and closely the uh, levels of vaccination and the level of virus transmission in our local community through the state of Minnesota, the Anoka County Department of Health. We'll watch those numbers closely and we will peg our responses and as we step up uh, gradually to returning to uh, full and open masses at St. Tim's. So stay tuned for that. We all hope that uh, that day will come sooner than later, but in the meantime, we will continue to practice uh, the safety protocols that are still recommended by the State Department of Health. That includes wearing a mask when you come to church. We will have social distancing in the pews when you come to church and all of the hygiene and sanitation procedures that we've been using and ask from you as well. We thank you for your cooperation with that and we thank you for continuing to register for the mass on the weekends. Uh, once we get to Easter, as I said, we'll start the 8.30 Mass, and that will continue after Easter, so we'll be back to the full schedule of three Masses on the weekends. We hope that will provide plenty of opportunity for people that would like to come to in-person Mass, while also offering opportunities for those who aren't yet vaccinated or just don't feel comfortable coming into the building. We'll have some parking lot options available as well as the virtual and streaming Masses for you at home. We thank you all for your cooperation. I know it's been a long year for everybody. We're chomping at the bit to get back to normal, uh, however we might define that. We look forward to that day when we are back to normal and we can feel good that we are gradually getting back to that place. Now one year out, uh, we can begin to talk about uh, these things, not in terms of reducing accessibility, but in expanding accessibility. So there's lots to feel good about and lots to look forward to. We thank God for that blessing. We thank God for the family of St. Timothy's, for the Holy Family that guides us and watches over all of us. So may the Holy Family bless all of you with much grace and good help. And I ask for your prayers for all the people of St. Tim's and especially for those who have suffered so immensely uh, from the effects of this virus and those families who grieve the loss of loved ones. We always hold them in the memories of our departed parishioners dear in our hearts. So may God bless you all, and thank you so much for your time today.